The first thing we're going to need to do to get a resettable timer is get an app on Homey Pro that's called Chronograph. So once you have that located, just click on install and make sure your Homey Pro is selected there and click on install app. Now this is going to take a couple of minutes, but as soon as it's done, the app will be available on Homey Pro. I will leave a link to that app down in the description. Okay, so this is my old timer and uh, this one currently is missing kind of a reset function. So if this timer is close to the end and somebody is occupying the bathroom, it will turn off if you're in there because this timer doesn't have any way of resetting. So this is the need for this chronograph. So here's how we're going to set it up. Well, first get these things out of the way for the other bathroom and we will delete the old timer because we no longer need this. If we're going to be using a resettable chronograph and we're going to make some room to kind of work. These are the functions that we do need. Uh, we're then going to add a then uh, with chronograph and we want to start or replace a timer. If either of these functions happens, So we will connect these both up and I'm going to group these a little tighter just so I kind of keep it clear. And we will call this thing basement uh, bath vent and click on new and type in the same thing here. And the duration we want this thing to run for is 15 minutes. And because we need to test it first, let's start it with one minute. And there's our unit, one minute. And we can just leave it right there. And then we're going to go to a when a chronograph timer has started. So basement, bath, vent. And I don't know why this makes you click on new, but whatever. And again, basement, bath, vent is started. We're going to turn on our bathroom fan. And when our chronograph uh, timer is finished, we will turn off our fan. And again, just type the name in here, basement bath fan. And click on new again, basement bath vent. All right, and then we will save this thing and we will give it a test. So I'll turn that light on and we will see what happens. So I just turned on the bathroom light on a different monitor and we can monitor this thing as well. Uh, if we go to apps, chronograph and configure, you can see our active timer and we do see the timers on. Now I will cycle that bathroom light and you can see that definitely works. The timer does reset. So now we're just going to wait for our uh, 43 seconds here and make sure that that bathroom vent does in fact turn off when we want it to. We can see that the reset function is clearly working. And you can see when the timer ran out, the fan turned off, so we have a winner.